Her Navi are just so damn good. They're just so damn good. Solus wants to swing wide, wants to go for the 1v1. We'll be able to take it down. Goodness me! Packed up by the teammate. Today, we're going to be comparing these two teams in what I like to call the boundary strat. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be focusing on their rotations and their splits. So it's going to be a lot of maps and arrows for you guys. But stick around because while not the most action-packed, it will be highly informative and will help you make the best decisions for your own gameplay, including a how-to so you can use their strategies for yourself. Over the last several months, we have established what Navi's strategy is positioning themselves on the edge of zone and creating a boundary around it that no one can go through. Whilst most teams focus on close and long range skill, Na'Vi use mid range distances to ward off other teams and pick off players in their rotations, landing themselves a lot of kills in the process. Fireflux do the exact same thing. Once the first late phase zone has popped up, they are quick to set themselves up on the edge, typically the one closest to them. Like Na'Vi, Fireflux is an aggressive team who isn't afraid of pushing their way into a spot once they've chosen it. Once they've established their position, it's now time to think about how they're going to use it. Na'Vi are still unique in their use of the line split here, but Fireflux are able to split up effectively to get the job done anyway. Now, let's look at these two teams side by side and compare. Similarities both teams stand firmly in their chosen positions, making sure to take out whatever team is nearby. This is usually done before other teams start rotating, allowing them total freedom to determine their boundary. Both take up to one third of the zone, both push teams into others, and both take as many kills as they can through third parties and rotations. Differences Fireflux use short rotations primarily, while Navi don't mind traveling further to get a spot they want. Navi also are flexible in where they play. Fireflux prefer to play the edge rather than mid or center circle like Navi will sometimes use this strat from. Another difference is the split these teams use. Navi use a line split, placing their players in a strategic position in a way that ensures no team can rotate towards them. Fireflux play it differently. Rather, they choose an area, be that a compound or a field behind their vehicles, and then defend it as a group, pushing teams away from their immediate vicinity but not sending them very far. This is key for Fireflux, because by only pushing teams a short distance, it allows them major third-party opportunities at close range later. This is more invasive than Navi prefer. For them, it's better that teams are as far away as possible, with as much open ground between them as possible. This puts teams into the range Na'Vi prefer, and without any sneaky players going unnoticed, makes it easier for them to control the zone. We now see how the pros do it, but how can you use this for yourself? First, make sure you choose the right spot to play from. You could either play in the open like Na'Vi, or from a compound like Fireflux. No matter where you decide to go, make sure you'll have zone. You'll go out early if you push teams away and then have to go through them later. After this, the priority is always to either side of your spot, and this is the best way to use the strat. You cannot concentrate on those ahead of you if your angles are cut off by the teams next to you. This is also imperative to make sure you establish a large enough boundary around your position. The boundary strat typically means you have at least 25% of the zone in your control, so if there's a team within that area, they either need to be taken out or moved on into other teams. You also need to figure out what your preferred range is. If it's long range, you'll need to make sure you have a clear view on at least three sides, the ability to push teams off far away, and an awareness of what's around you. If it's close range, you'll need excellent communication with your teammates, knowledge of the area and all its angles, roofs, broken walls, windows, etc., a keen eye for anything moving, as well as an awareness of where your team is and when to regroup. With time, these things will become muscle memory, with each game bringing a fresh scenario to keep things exciting. This strat has been successful in multiple tournaments and is one of my favorites to see used because of how powerful it can be. Experiment with it and enjoy!